Welcome everybody to the um, President's Distinguished Alumni Award Ceremony. And this is kind of how it's gonna run. We're gonna, I'm gonna give a few welcome remarks. I'm gonna introduce Dr. Gaba and then we'll do the medallion uh, presentations and Maria Kelly will be replacing um, Trustee Mento this evening. And then we'll be doing some closing remarks. All right, so I wanna welcome everyone. Um, my name is Jean McCaster, for those who don't know me, and I'm the Executive Director of the Foundation and uh, the Chief of Staff here at Atlanta Cape. Normally, as I was mentioning earlier, we'd be sitting here in Kareem's restaurant, enjoying each other's company, but I can assure you, next year, we look forward to inviting you back to campus to see all the great things that we've done since you graduated and of course taste the delicious food at Kareem's, our student run restaurant. And I know Dennis is already salivating on that one. Last year, we were one month into the COVID-19 crisis in the what do we do now phase. And now we're moving forward and planning for the future in more in a more normal way. Tonight is special and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Atlantic Cape Community College's 2021 President's Distinguished Alumni Award Ceremony. You may not know this, but since 2010, the President's Distinguished Alumni Award has been presented annually to graduates of Atlantic Cape who have differentiated themselves through professional, public, and community-based accomplishments. What I love about this award is that the recipients were selected by a group of their peers because they were found to truly represent our mission and serve as exemplary role models for all our current and future students. Many thanks to our committee who reviewed the applications that were submitted to, for consideration of this honor. And many thanks to Kristen Jackson for coordinating this important event. Uh, Atlantic Cape pl places an important emphasis on our sustained relationships between the college and its graduates. Tonight is no different as we celebrate our all eight of our wonderful awardees from 2020 and this year, 2021. At this time, I would like to introduce to you our president, Dr. Barbara Gaba. Hey, thank you, Jean, and welcome to everyone. It is an honor to share in the celebration of the impressive accomplishments of our 2020 and 2021 President's Distinguished Alumni and Young Alumni Achievement Award recipients. These eight accomplished Atlanta Cape graduates represent a wide variety of impressive academic and professional backgrounds. They also serve as the college's finest ambassadors and provide proof of the endless opportunities that are available after earning an Atlanta Cape credential. On behalf of the entire college community, I'd like to thank you for your longstanding support of Atlantic Cape. The alumni base constitutes one of the most important stakeholder groups within the college and is an asset that has a unique role in supporting the ongoing efforts to fulfill the college's mission. As, an institution, as the institution moves forward, I'm confident that our alumni will continue to be an integral part of the college-wide effort to build on our achievements and meet the challenges of the future. We are proud to honor you and celebrate your many accomplishments tonight. We hope you will continue to be involved with Atlantic Cape, the Atlantic Cape Foundation and Alumni Association. And again, many congratulations on your achievement tonight. Jean. Thank you, Dr. Gaba. We would now like to recognize our 2020 and 2021 Distinguished Alumni and Young Alumni Achievement Award recipients. If you are an award recipient and you would you please put your medallion on if you have not done so already. These medallions are designed with the college seal and when you join us for future commencements and events, please wear them proudly. To present our eight award recipients, I am pleased to be joined by Maria Kellett, who is the Dean of the Cape May County Campus and the Associate Dean of the Foundation, Maria. Thanks, Jean. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us and congratulations. I'm really happy to be here and to take part in this special recognition ceremony. Um, I'm gonna start off with the President's Distinguished Alumni Award recipients. And the first one up is Mayor Beth Holtzman. She was a class of 19, 
82, business administration major. Beth knew by her junior year in high school that she wanted to pursue a career in accounting. After graduating in the top 15% of her class, she attended Atlantic Cape and earned an AS degree in business administration in 1982. She continued on to Stockton, obtaining a BS in business and accounting in 1985. After working in hospitality and in Atlantic City and Washington, DC, Beth returned to the area and took a job as an accountant for, the, for Atlantic County. She eventually worked her way up to fiscal officer and will mark 32 years of service to the Atlantic County government this June. That's quite an accomplishment. In May of 2016, Beth was sworn in as the mayor of Ventnor City. She is very active in the community, having served as the treasurer for the Ventnor Little League, a Ventnor City School Board member, and the State of New Jersey Support Group leader for the CARES Foundation. Unfortunately, we are, unfortunately Beth is not well tonight and could not join us, but Kristen Jackson has a statement that Beth has prepared for us. Kristen, would you read that? Beth said, I loved this school. It was truly a community of its own. Also, I was honored to receive such a prestigious award from the school that started my career and love for the field of accounting. Thank you, Kristen. Our next honored alumni is Dennis Kelly, class of 1978, liberal arts. While a student at Atlantic Cape, I think it might have been Atlantic Community College at the time, Dennis Kelly earned four varsity letters in three different sports and was a featured columnist for the school newspaper. After completing his first year of college, Dennis left to serve in the military during the Vietnam War. And when he returned, he obtained an AA in liberal arts in 1978. Dennis earned a BA in communications and media and a master's of business administration from Fairleigh Dickinson University. His successful career in higher education includes serving as the Dean of Admission at Centenary College, the VP for Enrollment Management at Georgian Court University, and his current position, Vice President, Senior Vice President and Chief Enrollment Officer at Wilmington College in Ohio. Dennis presents regionally and nationally on various strategic enrollment topics and recently received the 3E Enrollment Marketing's 2021 Strategic Leader Award. The White House and the Pennsylvania House of Representatives have recognized Kelly for the development and promotion of educational opportunities for families of American troops serving in Iraq, a cause close to the Vietnam era veterans heart. Dennis continues to support, support Atlantic Cape, including serving as the college's 2020 commencement speaker and supporting the foundation's ongoing fundraising efforts. And Dennis is with us tonight. Dennis, would you like to say a few words? Yes, thank you. Um, good evening. I first like to thank my uh, family, parents, and brothers for the love and support during my lifelong journey in higher education. Uh, however, tonight, I'd like to thank two different groups. Uh, Atlantic Cape provided me with a strong educational roots and the experience had those roots turn into wings. And that pair of wings elevated me to the top of my profession and carried me to present the White House across the country and around the world. The other group is three lifelong friends. Dr. James Berman encouraged me to pursue a college education during the toughest years of my life. He instilled in me the importance of family and what it meant to live a wise, responsible and healthy life. Joseph Hassan, an alum, showed me what excellence in education was all about. His education and career as an A student, now leader of industry, remains today my best example of the phrase, you receive back what you get into it. Bill Maslin, An alum is the best example of what a hardworking person places in the family first can accomplish. I would not be speaking tonight without Bill. 
My transportation was limited in my first three semesters at ACC at the time. Bill modified his class schedule to match mine and modified his work schedule so I could have a ride to and from campus. He even joined the varsity team I was on to make everything right. In closing, I would again like to thank my alma mater for my educational roots and thank and accept my medallion with gratitude on behalf of my three close friends. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dennis. That was, that was very moving. Next, we will honor Madeline Quinn Stricken Seidenstricker. She was in the class of 1971, a liberal arts education with a, a liberal arts major with a focus in education. After graduating from Oak Crest High School, Madeline attended Atlantic Cape, where she earned an AA in liberal arts in, with an education focus in 1971. She transferred to Montclair State University and in 1973 obtained her Bachelor of Arts degree. She went on to Glassboro State College, now Rowan University, and earned a Master of Arts in teaching in 1976. While enrolled in a PhD program at Temple University, she served as an adjunct instructor of English at Atlantic Cape to fulfill her first teaching internship. Soon after, she began her lengthy career in international teaching and public service, taking teaching assignments in Australia, Liberia, Kenya, and before joining the US Department of State as a Foreign Service Officer. During her 25, career, 25 year career, she rose to a senior rank in the US State Department as a political and military affairs analyst in US embassies in Belgrade, Serbia, Ethiopia, Bulgaria, and South Africa, and the African Bureau in Washington, DC. Her career was focused on human rights, political, military issues, such as non-proliferation and African affairs. Upon retirement, she relocated to South Jersey and returned to teaching at Atlantic Cape and spends her free time volunteering with Parts Therapeutic Writing Center in Ake Harbor Township. Madeline, would you like to say a few words? Well, um, I'm the first person in my family to have graduated from college and uh, Atlantic Cape, then Atlantic Community College made all that possible for me and it made possible all of the other things that I've achieved in life. So I keep coming back. I, I came back to, to teach uh, after I got my master's degree and then after I retired. So I owe a lot to Atlantic Cape and I'm very proud to be a graduate. Thanks very much for this honor. Thank you so much. Our, the, our next you, honoree is Donna Vasallo, class of 1985, hospitality management. Donna earned an associate in applied science and hospitality management at Atlantic Cape in 1985 and transferred to Widener University where she completed a bachelor of science in hospitality management. She also attained a master of science in hospitality management studies in August of 2006 from Fairleigh Dickinson University. Donna's extensive career in hospitality, tourism, and human resources management spans several decades and areas of expertise. In 1988, Donna returned to Atlantic Cape as an adjunct faculty member for the hospitality management and business divisions. She went on to work at the Claridge Casino Hotel for 10 years, where she ultimately served as the director of recruitment and staffing before taking the position of Corporate Human Resources Manager for Spencer's Gifts in 1998. She additionally established her own consulting firm, Donna Vassallo Associates, LLC, specializing in employee and organizational training and development. Donna served on the Atlantic Cape Foundation Board from 1998 to 2004, became a full-time Atlantic Cape instructor in 2003, and earned the Lindbach Distinguished Teaching Excellence Award in 2009. So her many senior staff positions at the college include Dean of Education and Workforce Development, Dean of 
Worthington Atlantic City Campus and Dean of Professional Studies, High School Initiatives and Internships. She continues to support the college's mission and foundation's fundraising efforts, including establishing a scholarship in memory of her father, Dominic. Donna will be retiring at the end of June and we are all gonna miss her a whole lot. Donna, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Maria, and, and thank you, everyone. This medallion is, is just really beautiful and it's incredibly touching. Obviously, you know, an acknowledgement of you know, the accomplishments that I've been able to achieve at the college. First and foremost, I've got family members that are on this call tonight. So my thanks to my incredible family who has spent numerous years sharing me with Atlantic Cape on plenty of nights and weekends where I've represented the college. So my thanks to my incredible family for their love and support. I certainly want to thank Dr. Josette Katz, who was on the call tonight, my mentor and has really paved the way for my love of learning. She was my instructor way back when. I know she takes a lot of pride in saying that, so I'm, I think I'm allowed to say it, but it, it really was an impetus for me to get where I am today, and I am most and forever grateful. I certainly want to thank Professor Effie Russell and my incredible team at Atlantic Cape who nominated me for this distinguished award. There is nothing more rewarding than being acknowledged by your peers and your staff. I can't imagine any better acknowledgement. So I am forever grateful. I am leaving in June, as many of you know, but as I've always said, my heart belongs to Atlantic Cape and I will never ever be far. Thank you very much for the honor. Yay! Yay! Get her done! <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Thank so you, family. <laughs> we'll turn this over to Jean. Okay. So, up. Donna, you, I, I don't know if you know this, but you did have seven nominees. What? Yes. I did not know that. Wow. Yeah. You <laughs> had seven nominees. So that would be the most in our history since 2010. Oh my goodness, would, I'm so incredibly I would like, honored. I would like to acknowledge Steve Dunn is here today. Um, he's one of my all-time favorite alumni as well and uh, distinguished alumni um, and uh, one of our prior commencement speakers. I just wanted to give a shout out. We would be doing this from the podium right now if we were in Kareem's restaurant enjoying dinner. And I'd also like to say hello to uh, Gordon uh, Furbo. I didn't acknowledge him earlier. He is one of our foundation board members, so hello. Next up, we're gonna move to the Young Alumni, uh, Young Alumni Achievement Award recipients. So Richard Russell, the class of 1999 is here. Liberal Arts AA and General Studies AS. Richard Russell was a life, has a lifelong connection to Atlantic Cape. Starting as a child, attending the daycare located on the Mays Landing campus as an attendee of the Kids College program. In 1999, Richard obtained an AA in Liberal Arts and AS in General Studies. He later graduated magnum cum laude from NYU with a BA in English from the New School University with an MS in teaching, and from the University of London with an MA in English. After years of teaching high school English, English Rich joined the faculty ranks of Atlantic Cape in January of 2007. He was promoted to assistant professor in 2014 and served as a coordinator of the English department from January 2014 to May 2019. In the summer of 2018, <coughs> uh, Richard traveled with a group of fellow faculty members to teach English to graduate student professors, graduate students, professors, administrators, and staff members of the Czech Technical University, one of the largest and oldest universities in Central Europe. He has earned numerous professional awards from the Faculty Pioneer Award in 2012 and the Faculty of the Year Award in 2019. In 2020, he <coughs> received the Limbach Distinguished Teaching Award, which is awarded annually to Atlantic Cape faculty member who has significantly enhanced the process of student learning, 
Rich supports several Atlantic Cape annual scholarships, has served as a guest speaker for many college events, and is the advisor for rewrites, the college's literary magazine. Professor Russell, would you like to, um, to, to address the audience today? Sure, I'll just be very brief. Thank, thank you, Jean. Um, as, as Jean mentioned, um, Atlantic Cape Community College has really been my home for my entire life. So this recognition is just truly humbling and heartening. Um, I, I really appreciate this, uh, this great honor. Um, I love the college and um, I, you know, I, I've missed being on the physical campus um, this year with all of you. Um, I miss seeing you, Donna and Josette and Linda um, and, and everybody else. Um, but it also this year has sort of confirmed for me that um, the, the college community is beyond just a physical space. It is this network of alum um, and staff, faculty and friends that we have as well. So while I'm really looking forward to being back on, on the physical campus in the fall and to being at the restaurant for events, um, I think it, it also has shown this, this last year that um, the community is, is stronger um, even when we are apart. Um, so thank, thank you all. Yay! Thank you. Next, we're going to um, honor Kyle Schachner, the class of 2016, <clears throat> communication AA degree. As a high school student, Kyle Schachner hadn't considered the prospect of attending college and instead opted to join the workforce after graduation. But it wasn't long after, uh, long before Kyle decided to explore new opportunities. And on a whim, he visited Atlantic Cape and enrolled in classes. Kyle earned an AA in communication in 2016 and transferred to Rowan University, where he graduated summa cum laude with a BA a degree in both public relations and advertising. While attending Rowan, Kyle served as the Vice President of Public Relations Student Society of America. After graduation, Kyle was hired as a Public Relations and Account Coordinator for WebEx, a startup company where he completed his senior year internship. Kyle went on to serve as Director of Marketing and Program Management to elevate Growth Counseling Group and ultimately landed a job at Holman Enterprises as a business analyst for the Strategic Ventures Unit. <laughs> Kyle is a founding member of Atlantic Cape's Communication Alumni Council and currently serves as its treasurer. We're very thankful and fortunate for that. He finds time to regularly mentor current communication majors and supports ongoing recruitment and fundraising efforts for the program. Kyle, would you like to say a few words? Sure. So uh, uh, like you mentioned, I didn't have, I never thought of myself as somebody that could go to college or get an education <clears throat> or, you know, make a, a nice successful life for myself. Um, I had this job where I would, in a restaurant where I'd you know, have to work till four o'clock in the morning and, you know, uh, deal with drunk people after the bars, Atlantic city and, you know, mop the floors at, at four o'clock in the morning. And I, uh, and I had that job before and, and during Atlantic Cape. And the difference was, was before Atlantic Cape, I was angry and thought, man, there's got to be something better than this. And when I was at Atlantic Cape, I knew that there was something better than this and that I was building a something for myself and that I was making something of myself. And so that's really what I take away from Atlantic Cape is, is that feeling. Because all those nice things on the PowerPoint slide are a result of that uh, belief in self. And um, well, that's next. To, I said that's next to my... Uh, met my uh, lovely girlfriend, Jess at Atlantic Cape too. So that's this, those are like tied for the top, but um, uh, it's a last thing I'll say is uh, it's really a testament to all of the wonderful people at Atlantic Cape that, you know, just like uh, Rich and Effie Russell here is an example that were um, uh, willing to, to help me along the way. And then most importantly, my family and their, their support because they've uh, I wouldn't be where I am without them because they're the, uh, I have the, the best family in the world, if you ask me. So, thank you. Wonderful. Everybody Yay, Kyle. Yay. All right. Next, we'd like to honor Pamela Shute. She's from the class of 2006, Liberal Arts Education Option AA. So, Pam began her, began her studies at Atlantic Cape in September of 2001. And just before she had given birth to her first son, 
as well. She began with just one class, but by the following semester, she had was taking four. She was married in 2003, had her second son in 2004, and graduated from Atlantic Cape in 2006 with her Associates in Arts and Liberal Studies education. She went on to Drexel University and obtained a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education in 2010 and a Master of Science in Special Education in 2012. She had her youngest daughter during her time in, at Drexel in 2009. She received the Capstone Achievement Award in 2010 for excellence in student teaching from Drexel. And in 2012, she began working at the Middle Township Elementary, number one at Cape May Courthouse as a special education teacher. She completed the supervisor certificate program certification program, excuse me, at Rowan University in March of 2017 and earned her second graduate degree also from Rowan in May of 2019, the Master of Arts in School Administration with a principal certificate. In September 2019, she began her current position as instructional supervisor at the Middle Township Elementary number one, and recently started her doctoral program degree at Drexel University, which she plans to complete within three years. Pam is actively involved in volunteer opportunities in her community, such as the Middle Township PTO, Homework Club at the Whitesboro Recreation Center and Matt Stocking each Christmas. Okay, Pam, would you like to say a few words? Sure, um, I just, I'll be quick. <laughs> um, I just want to thank my family for their support through all of that. Um, I'm so honored to receive this award from Atlanta Cape and I thoroughly enjoyed my time there and I look forward to continuing to work with ACC to bring different things into the community. Oh, thank you, Pam. I give her a hand. Yay. Okay. Okay, thank you, Pam. And um, we're going to move to Harry Walk. Harry, you're here, right? Uh, I saw them. Yes, I'm sorry, my video is not working. I'm in the midst of a move. So it's quite a quite a day here. <laughs> oh, no problem. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Just want to make sure I that I recognize you appropriately. But we have your picture on screen, so we now we're good to go. So you're from the class of 2009, Harry, from gen in general studies in uh, with an AS degree. So Harry attended Atlantic Cape through the New Jersey Stars program, uh, earning, as I said, the general studies AS degree in 2009. In 2012, he transferred to Rutgers University and earned a bachelor's in arts in psychology. He attended Ocean County College's nursing program and graduated in 2015. He went on to Walden University and earned a bachelor of science of nursing in 2016 and a master of science of nursing in 2018. His other academic and professional credentials include mental health first aid instructor certification, nurse executive board certification, psychiatric mental, mental health nurse board certification, and the Lean Six Sigma White Belt certification. Harry joined Atlantic Care Regional Medical Center in 2007 as a patient care associate and spent nearly eight years in that position serving, uh, serving his guests. In 2015, he took the position of professional practice and development coordinator. And two years later, Harry was promoted to clinical nurse manager of the medical surgical unit at the Atlantic City campus. In September, 2020, Harry was promoted to corporate director of customer experience, overseeing the integration of customer service initiatives organization wide. During July, 2018, he served as an adjunct faculty member at Atlantic Cape and Rutgers and is also a co-chair of the Environment of Care, Quality, Safety and Restraint Steering Committees, as well as the committee secretary for the Pride Employee Resource Group. Harry, would you like to say a few words? Thank you so much. So like Madeline, I'm the first college graduate in my family. So I'd like to thank all of the faculty at Atlantic Cape. It was a pleasure attending ACCC and now teaching at Atlantic Cape allows me to provide the support and encouragement to the students, 
that was provided me during my time at ACCC. So thank you. Thank you, Harry. Everybody give a round of applause. Okay. Wow. That was fast. So what a remarkable group of people we have. Now, right now we would be drinking, we would be eating, we'd probably be on around dessert around now. Um, we have such a remarkable uh, group of people and we want to thank Dr. Gaba for letting us have this award celebration and it's, it's her award, you know, it's the president's distinguished award. Um, and um, I'd like, if you don't mind, we'll have, um, Dr. Guy, would you like to say anything else before we do closing remarks? Well, this has been a wonderful ceremony. I'm, my heart is just so filled and so proud of all of our recipients tonight. Uh, uh, all, all eight of you are just outstanding examples of what we can do at Atlanta Cape. And then from hearing your stories, several of you are first generation to go to college and you've made wonderful, wonderful accomplishments, which we are so proud of. And we know that you're gonna be fantastic ambassadors for the college through your success and you all have very touching, heartfelt stories. So again, thank you and congratulations to all of you. My only regret is that we could not meet in person, but that will be at another time and another place. And you have your medallions. And when we are able to come back on campus, I wanna see you wearing the medallion and I'll take a picture with you. So have a great evening. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank Maria, you. do you wanna say anything else or are we, you're good? Just to say thank you to everybody. Uh, and like Dr. Gaba said, uh, so sorry we couldn't meet in person. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and this celebration. And I'd just love to give everybody another round of applause for being here and all your accomplishments. Really great, great people here. I'd also like to give another shout out to the, to the committee, the selection committee. We get so many nominations and it's really tough, but they're very dedicated to, to really picking great people. And as you can see, they, they work very hard to find them. And to, to recognize Kristen again, because she does a great job with the nominations, the selection. She's probably the person that most of you have talked to. So we're really, really incredibly proud of all of you. And as has been said, we rely on our alumni to be our champions, our advocates, and to come back to the college and support the college in any number of ways, including being mentors, making scholarships for the students that are here now. So I just encourage you as your career continues to blossom, think about the ways that you might be able to reconnect with the college and help the students that are here now and the future of the college. So with that said, I look forward to seeing you in person next year and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.